The Biscay trial is slightly different from the, uh, the Danube study. Um, the Biscay trial is slightly different from actually a lot of other trials in that it's uh, looking at uh, an individual group of patients with group patients with bladder cancer, uh, next generation sequencing on all tumour samples taken fresh, um, looking for specific mutations, and then, then the treatment will be driven by those mutations. So for example, if you have an FGF3 mutation, you'll get an FGF3 inhibitor plus immune therapy plus duvalumab, um, and PI3 kinase, PI3 kinase plus duvalumab. And we, as it has an adaptive design, so we're going to put new studies and new arms into the trial as it goes through. And what we're hoping to see is spectacular results. You know, we're hoping for you know, high, very high response rates in those individuals with specific mutations. So we target the mutation, we also give active immune therapy together, and we hope this is going to make a big difference in the future. And the goal, obviously, is not just to do this small study, but to expand active cohorts into larger cohorts, explore it in the biomarker negative population, but also go on and do randomised trials from there. So the Biscay study is a, um, a, a seed for the, for the future of bladder cancer, we hope. Uh, well, the Danube study is slightly different. Is the, we hope, uh, going to be a practice-changing study which will replace chemotherapy in the frontline setting.